<laughs> right, boys, we are on the verge of promotion to the Football League. We've got two games today. It might just need one win for us to do it. Let's get into today's Yorkshire or nothing. All right, boys, welcome back to the channel. As you can see, we are five games towards the end of the season. We are 12 points clear of Doncaster in second. Today, we're going to play two games. Fingers crossed we get promotion sorted today. We have been very, very good all season. We're looking at trying to break the overall points. What was the overall points thing? 105 set by the big spending Crawley when they signed Richard Brody and some others back in 2011. We can beat that record. I'm already looking at records already. We're going to break 100 points by the looks of it. We only need to get four more points in the last five games. The run of games, as you could see, I did say that I was going to kick on a little bit. And it has been very, very good. A couple of little cups in there. We got a little bit worried, but we kept with it. Rot squad's been rotated. I was a little bit disappointed because we tried to have a little go at the FA Trophy as well and then lost in the, qu in the quarterfinal. But we've responded from that. Three straight wins. And we've got Telford today and Barnet. Barnet, 19th. Telford, 18th. So two wins today, regardless of what Doncaster do, will be enough for Promotion to the football league. How many goals have we scored? We're on 87 goals scored. We'll probably get over... We should get over 100 goals. 35 considered. Not as free-flowing, but we've been so good just in both, e well, both ends of the pitch. Um, Shrunaldo did want to see the XG table. So we've scored 87. What's our XG? Our XG is 80. So it says we're overperforming by... I'm not ever quite sure that football manager has got it right because we seem to miss a lot of bloody chances. But we're at XG of 80, 87 goals. Hopefully we can break, by the way, look at uh, Doncaster, 83 XG. But we've only scored 71. Right, I just want to play the game. This has been sat waiting for the best part of a week. But before we get into it, just thought I'd show you the best of the youth intake. It's been an okay intake. This dude, Darren, we've nicknamed him Darren Millstead. One of my patrons on the channel's finally got a Patreon player. Regen, um, I'm just liking his mentals. 13 decisions, 13 determination, 14 teamwork, 13 vision, 13 passing, 11 first touch at the age of 16. Hasn't signed yet because we haven't done the trials. It's literally just come through. I thought potentially long term that attacking midfield slot, you know, he's already on eight finishing as well. So a lot of these are going to be in and around 10s, 12s, 13s, 14s potentially. We've got four years to work with him and it'll be really good to see how he develops. The others, there is a, a nice little array of a couple of other ones. We do need, as I said in last week's episode, we do need a big clear out in the summer to make sure players like Darren and a couple of the others get really, sorry, get not, not really, get lots more game time. Because at the moment, our big squad is just costing us a little bit, I think. Right, I'm a little bit nervous that it's all going to go to pot. Who have we got missing? We've got a few injuries. Bridge has been missing a while, but is fit. But probably only fit enough for the bench. Pete Burge has gone out on loan. Paul Cullen Barney is back. It looks like we've played a game recently by the looks of it, because we are struggling with fitness here. Denton needs a rest, so let's go McCarthy, the youngster. Yeah, we're a little bit light on the ground, boys. I'm just going to play it, I think. Is there anything else I could potentially do? Not really. It's this middle of midfield. That's the, that's the thing. But we're going to go with it. We'll just go with what we've got. So we're going to go... Cullen Barney, Holgate, Hull, McCarthy, Robinson, Osterfield, Hackney, Carroll, Dodd, Young. Joel Staker is there. 19 goals, 11 assists for the man. I think if we get promoted next season, we need to sign a new centre forward. I'm not quite sure if Joel's going to be up to it. Um, 30 goal contributions, but you would expect that from a team that are top of the league. Right, we will keep our eye on the Doncaster game. I think they're at home. They're at home to Woking, who are in the playoffs. Okay, here we go. It could be it could be over today. They've got a free kick. Just calm the fuck down, Matty. Right, Robinson clears. Joel Staker picks it up. Here he goes. Holgate. Staker. Dodd. Osterfield. To Dodd. Zoom out a little bit. Hull. 
I've just been patient with it. Is it a bit edgy? A bit nervy? Right, come on. We're just passive. Where, where is this highlight going? We're just passive for the sake of it. We've not moved out of this area. Is someone going to be brave enough to switch the play? Osterfield, Staker, Carroll. Here we go. Hackney. Out to Young on this left-hand side. Another player I highly like to be leaving in the summer. He's absolutely rocketed it in. Jake Young. How many is that for the season for him? I don't think he's scored too many because he's been pretty much a substitute. What a goal. Just cuts in on his right foot and absolutely smashes it into the far top corner. 1-0. Dream start. What's the scores? And he scores and walking are winning. So we, at the moment, are Football League, boys. We're Football League. Gamble, we get a tackle and we missed the tackle. Harvey is in. It could be 1 1. It's a great save from Paul Columbani. We need to get into the Football League to keep players like Paul Columbani. He's not going on a free yet. He's got a year left on his deal. He will only sign a new deal if we get promoted. Right, Bendel. He's offside. Thank God for that. Let's just have a focus after going 1 0 up. Doncaster have equalised, but I think that still gives us promotion, you know. Carroll, Hull off the bar, cleared. Right, Hackney with it. Delivery. Oh, McCarthy was there. Osterfield. Oh, right, Hackney. Hull's there. It's, oh, it was off the line. It should be two. Right, Doncaster are winning. So it's probably going to go to the next game, boys. But let's let's just concentrate on us getting three points here. Oh, I get a goalkeeper sometimes. Just comes into a little bit of no man's land, does Cullen Barney. Right, let's have a little bit more. Both teams have had chances. We're getting a penalty. Someone was being pushed. I think... I can't see who it was. I think it might actually be in Bobby Carroll. Up he steps. Bobby Carroll. Tucks it in. The bottom corner. Get in. Bobby Carroll's 24th of the season. Just before half-time. Right, still 2-1, Doncaster. So still 12 points. We've got a miles better goal difference. So technically we're there. Technically there, it just means that probably in the next game against Barnet, we need a point. Right, Osterville heads. Young, oh, he's missed out. Gamble now. Robinson just takes it off him nicely. Hackney, Young. Staker. That's a poor ball. Robinson's not going to get after that. Miam. Win it. McCarthy steps in. He's injured a little bit, but he needs to stay on the pitch because we need to rest a few players. Holgate. Hull. Can we get the game? That third goal. McCarthy coming forwards. Robinson. Young. He's clipped it over. Bobby Carroll with that late run that he's been so good at. He's hit the post. He's hit the post. It should have been game set and match. It should have been three. Right. That surely is not a break. It's just an end of highlight. Stop the cross. We have stopped the cross. It's a corner kick. Right, let's defend this corner. Just going to ask for a focus again. And... Header straight at Cullen Barney. They've had a few chances of Telford. We've given them eight shots. An XG of 0 0.76. So they've probably deserved at least a goal. We're just going to change it up a little bit. I'm going to take Bobby Carroll off. And we're going to do things that I've been doing regularly over the last few weeks. Lower the tempo. Where is Osterfield? I tell you what, we've got down in there. So let's get down in on for McCarthy. Let's get AJ Bridge on. He's been missing. He's been injured for quite a while, you know. Yeah, he's been missing for a good nearly two months. No, sorry, a month. But a lot of games in that time. Right, Bendel with the corner. Double change is done and on. Osterfield heads clear. It's still 2-1 Doncaster. We've got an injury to Bridge. He's just come on. He has literally just come on the pitch. And he's got himself injured. And now we're short. Right, okay. We are, we are going to do is Let's bring Alex Sharp on. Let's just play him in there. Because he's a bit of a baller. The youngster. See it out. 20 minutes. Let's just encourage. Doncaster still 2-1. Right, throw him right in this corner. It's clear. Only a half clearance. Mooney. Robbins, Mooney, Williams. They still need two. Hackney's struggling with injury. Hackney's down, heading the floor, and they've scored a fucking goal. What on earth is going on there? Dear me, <laughs> he's got his head in the other guy's crotch. <laughs> 
<laughs> Fucking hell. Right, that's a shambles. Absolute shambles. Hackney is injured. Right, let's just bring these two back. We're down to 10 men. Let's just see if we could just hold on. Doncaster are winning as well. We've both held on, fingers crossed, for us anyway. Six minutes of stoppage. Right, we've done it. We're nearly there, boys. We're nearly home. Just going to give them a little, little nudge and say, come on. That should have been a little bit more easy than what it was. We've lost Bridge. We've probably lost Hackney as well. Let's see how long. Bridge. He's gone for three or four weeks. We're likely for the rest of the season. Fractured ribs for Hackney. Dear me. Once again, even though his attributes are got three goals, 15 assists for uh, Hackney. Adam McCarthy is out for a couple of days. That's fine. And it's only three days. Three days to the next game. So we've played Tuesday, Tuesday, Friday, Monday. Right, okay. This must be the bank, obviously the Easter bank holiday. It's just come at the wrong time, boys. I'm going to be honest. It's just come at the wrong time for us here. And we're just going to give it rest and recovery. Rest and recovery, right. Here we go. We're on. Oh, what's going on here? Unhappy. Shut up. Right, barn it away. Down in London. Let's go. He's Doncaster as well. The next game I've just seen that he's Doncaster. Oh, dear. Okay. We could be on for a triple header today, boys, if we lose. We're going to have to play the Doncaster. I realise the Doncaster game was next. Following the, the Barnet game. Right, Mudrinsky's got himself back from suspension, which is good. So he can come straight in for Hackney. We're a couple. Denton had a rest, so he can come back in for McCarthy. Um, let's get Matty down in on the left-hand side. Another player looks like leaving on a free transfer. Right side, Staker, Young. We haven't got much, boys. We haven't got much. Jake Young is really struggling. All I've got is Paul, <laughs> Paul Elliott, who hasn't played at all. But I'm thinking we might need to just put him on. Let's put him on the bench. See how long we can get Jake Young. Give us 45, 45 minutes. Right. Right, Doncaster are playing Telford, who we've just beaten. A draw today gets us the magical 100 points as well and closes in on that 105 point. So what do we, right, I've just, without really thinking about it, what do we need today? We're 12 points clear. So a point. A point for the title. The point for promotion. Here we go. We're 20 minutes in. I'm happy because the players are dead on their asses. We've not we've notched up 70% possession as well. Let's just give it an encourage. We're getting tired. They've got a free kick. Joel Stakers, no, nope, we're all right. There's a few that are absolutely dead. Right, Hull. Oh, we have got Banks the centre forward, so we'll probably do a double change at half time. Get off Young, get off Staker. Right, Young. Clips in Staker. He's on his last legs. Can he put us in front? He doesn't. It was a big chance. He didn't take it. Telford and Doncaster are level, one each. Right, going to give it till 60 and then make a couple of changes. It is the tempo. We've got big tempo, high tempo. But Barnett, you would have thought, are in the same position as us in terms of playing the Friday, playing the Monday. Right, Banks can come on. Let's get Paul Elliott on. Hardly played. Let's get him on. We'll leave the last sub till as late as we possibly can. As Badal is in... So I'm just going to drop it onto positive. And we're just going to set the tempo just down onto standard. Ask for a demand more. It's still 1-1 with Doncaster, but as I said, doesn't matter what they're doing as long as we get a point from here. It has been probably one of the most boringest games. We've dominated the ball. We're just a little bit tired. We've got a corner. Bobby Carroll underneath it. They're going to break. Oh, dear God. Nope, Dodd takes over. Osterfield. Denton. Dodd, Holgate, Osterfield, Banks. Oh, I thought he was just going to turn and hit it. Holgate's in on this right-hand side. There's bodies in the middle. Bobby Carroll, Osterfield, <laughs> Holgate, Carroll. Do something with it, boys. Dear me. Dodd, turn and hit on your left foot. Mudrinsky's there. It's a great block. I think it was offside. It wasn't. And down in has absolutely spooned it over. Paul Elliott, brilliant. The lad that we bring on has got himself injured. Right, Alex Sharp cannot do that at all on that side. Focus. We're nearly there, boys. We're nearly there. Get in. We've done it. We've finally 
done it. Football League, here we come. The save now takes on a whole new sort of like meaning. It feels like the save's just been boof, burst into life again. We've finally done it. What, at the sixth, sixth time of asking, I think? Sixth time of asking. We've finally done it. Budgets for next season, nothing. We have spent a lot of money getting that, who is it in, getting that player in, uh, McCarthy in the, in the October for half a million pounds. But there we go. Trichinho leads Athletic Club York to glory. By the way, look at that straight away. Paul Columbani is delighted. We'll try and maybe potentially tie him down to a new deal. Border happy. Three years ahead of schedule. That will do Athletic York crowned champions. There we go, boys. Have we got much money? Oh, we have given us a massive wage bu budget. We're currently spending £39,000 per week. And they've put it up. They've nearly, no, not doubled it, but it's gone up nearly £20,000 per week. That is huge. Now, does that mean that we can offer some of these new contracts? So, Osterfield, I would like him to stay. I don't think none of them are, are they? Bobby Carroll. No. I'm not sure how he wants to leave. I think it was just bigger, because bigger clubs were coming in for him. Who's wanted by? He's wanted by Notts County. They're in League Two. So, you would have thought he would stick with us, wouldn't you? You would have thought, because we'd probably offer him more money. Oh, there's going to be big changes this summer. Downing going as well. It's not that's not much of a, uh, as an issue. Wolf, Robinson. I think we need to make a deal for him just so we have a player in. That's fine. Eight hundred pound a week. He's actually taking a wage reduction. Jake Young, free transfer. We're losing him. The guy that scored fantastic goal. We're going to lose him as well. Elliot Rutter. These are all no good. Richies is someone who's not good enough. But by the looks of it, boys, despite us getting promoted, there's going to be a lot of work to do in the summer. All right, guys. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to kick on to the end of the season. Um, I'm going to do the preseason. And next episode will be our first game in the Football League. All right, guys. Put a little bit of love in the chat, in the comments. That would be much appreciated. We've done it. We've done it. We've kept to a tactic. We've kept to a, a very intense possession-based tactic. I'm absolutely buzzing. It takes on a new journey. I was thinking, what's the you know what's the overall aim of this save? And it would be brilliant to sort of like get in and around the championship. Um, I think the Premier League is probably going to be too far for us, but you never know that one season getting into the playoffs and the championship. I'm already thinking of getting into the playoffs of the championship, and we've just got into the football league. I need to slow down, but we're on the way now. That's the hard bit done for me. I think getting out of that division has been an absolute killer. Onwards and upwards. Onwards and upwards. Onwards and upwards. Thank you very much for watching. See you next week. Start of what? About season nine now. And we're in the Football League. Cheers, guys. Take care. See you later.